come in, you spin, and the leg comes in at the very last action. People stick their leg in too soon, thinking, oh, I gotta throw more on my leg. The leg is the last thing in the action of the movement. It comes in late. Let's take a look at Uchimata. Uchimata, inner thigh. The mata is kind of the fork of the tree, the fork of the road. It's, it's the middle, the middle of the body here. Okay, that's the mata, Uchimata, inner, inside the middle of the body. Okay, let's parse that out. Uchimata is classified as a leg throw, which is what we're, because it is. Okay, so All right, so when you're doing this, now he's using a standard kubikata grip, okay? If he were doing this a, a much shorter opponent, he might be using a different grip. He might be using a, a back grip to pull and lift, to hoist him into the position of throw. But he's using this grip to start because it's the basic way. Right? When you're doing your uchimata and you're pulling, remember, you want to pull the suikomi, the lifting, pulling, the hoisting action is really important because that brings him to my body. Bring him up onto his toes, you'll see that here. And when you come in, you spin, and the leg comes at the very last action. People stick their leg in too soon, thinking, well, i got to throw more my leg. The leg is the last thing in the action of the movement. It comes in late. So go ahead and do it again, guys. But Uchimata is probably one of the most popular throws ever invented in Judo. And what we're showing here is the basic application. 